Did you guys hear that? Because you know what I hear. I hear my UPS driver just got here. Okay. Now, excuse my voice. I'm still sick. I just got my Wi-Fi pineapple pagers. Oh, my gosh, guys. If you don't know, I made a video with Darren about a few... I'm just going to open it up because I'm too excited. I'll yap while I do it. I made a video with Darren a few months ago, and this was the interview for the Wi-Fi pineapple pager. I was the first in the world to hold it, and I'm not the first to get a video out because that goes to my brother... Cal from Valley Tech Custom Solutions, <coughs> whose video is literally premiering as we speak. But let's take a look at this. Now I got a black pager and a yellow pager. So let's see. The boxes are pretty small. Here we go. And then we got two of these things. So let's see, okay. I'm not going to make any edits. It's just like pure video. So this is like a signed thing from Darren. See, I thought Darren was signing the uh, pagers, but oh, it's fine. So I got two of these. They are a little bent, but it is fine. It is fine. Now I have a black one, and then, oh, I cannot rip this box. I have a black one, and I have a yellow one. I don't know which is which. I do not know how to get this out. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, charge before first use. Power on by holding button for five seconds. Get started by following setup somewhere. Okay, so. I mean, let's see. Let's get these both open. Actually, I don't know which one this is. But I'm going to leave it for the live tomorrow, maybe. Actually, you know what? My video, I'll do what I want. I'm opening up my pager. And I am going live tomorrow at 1 p.m. MST, Mountain Standard Time. And I will be going over the pagers. And all I literally got like 4K in tech today sent to me by this company. It is the most insane thing. Not this company is Hack 5, but... Okay, so it, we have our little pager clip. We have our black one. We have our yellow one. I want to swap these around, get a black clip on a yellow pager. Let's see. Oh my gosh, guys. Here it is, my pagers. Oops. They are finally here. After months of waiting, but... You know what? Like, honestly, great for Darren. They got these out so quickly. <clears throat> After announcing them. Okay, so let's see. I don't want to rip this, but I already know I'm going to rip it, so... I didn't rip it. I didn't rip it. Oh, oh. we were close. I did not rip it. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, so they are pretty big. I mean, I know I held one before at DEF CON, but uh, just like first first thoughts on it, you know? So let's get this off without ripping it. Oh, and there goes the not ripping it part. And let's just tear it open. Okay, so we got a black one. We got a yellow one. Now, I paid for these with my own money. Okay, Hack5 did not send these to me for free next time it's for free but let's see so we have the removable battery for the lipo very nice very nice one sec and then we have our clip Ooh, okay beautiful and i do actually like i said i do kind of want to get the black clip on it how does this go you pull it up Okay, I'm figuring stuff out. Okay, that is tough, not gonna lie. And now, boom. So I have to plug these in until they go green, until I can turn them on. Now, I had the chance to flash one of these pagers with the firmware, and I figured we just did the unboxing. Let me show you how to do it. So, we're over here on the computer, and we're gonna need our USB-C plug, and we're just gonna go ahead and plug this into our pager. Now, I have my yellow pager somewhere around here, and this is the one we're going to be flashing. So you literally just need to plug it in, and this thing's going to boot. I will say, everything with the pineapple pager at this moment takes forever. Okay, so we could go ahead, turn it on by holding the on button on the device itself, which is the top button. For a few seconds, we're going to see that screen light up nice and beautiful. And then that is when, it's going to say hack 5 on it, probably... Man, it's going to suck editing this, because this just really takes 
forever. Um, even booting it up. I mean, once it's booted, though, this thing is so sick. I think it's, like, top device already. It does so many insane things. And I cannot wait to show you guys. Uh, I kind of want to do, like, daily videos on it. Daily long ones. But today, we are just flashing it. So we could go ahead, plug it into our computer. Once we get the Hack 5 logo, just wait around. So now we went ahead and got that Hack 5 logo. And I mean, like, of course everything's going to take forever. You're just starting it up. This is a brand new project, and everyone's excited about it. So we could go ahead, plug this into our actual device, or computer itself. Now it's going to say Wi-Fi Pineapple System Booting and... Just more waiting, guys. <laughs> so, now at this point, it's going to tell us to go to the Wi Fi Pineapple HTTP 172.16.52.1. And I mean, the screen on this thing just is really magnificent. So, we can just head over to that 17. Nope, uh, 172.16.52. Now, this is going to be the Wi Fi Pineapple pager. Now, you could get the firmware by just clicking right here and downloading it. Then we could go to select firmware. And I'm really just going to drag mine over here. It should be... Oh my gosh, where is it, guys? I swear, I, this is my school computer, so I got like a bajillion things just everywhere. So, I mean, let's just trace it. Everything's part of our own Mac. Okay, so now we got it. We could come back over here, select firmware. Let's just drag this over. Upload. And I do love this like glitching effect, it's super cool. And then upload. So this is uploading the firmware to it. And after this, we're just gonna install it straight to the pager. And then, you know what they say, then we'll be ready to go. So install in, and you're gonna wanna give this about 15 minutes to install. And after a few hours of charging, and a little while of installing it, you're gonna have a flashed pager. We have our pagers, if you can't tell, they're at like an angle. It's cause I 3D printed, actually my, friend doge 3d printed these for me and they're pretty cool shout out doge and i mean man i just love these things ready i've been waiting to take the protective like screen off this one not not too good asmr but not not like bad either obviously very reflective screen i'm looking at myself right now so it is going to take you through all these steps let's get started notice there's cutting edge new features often thermals because this does get very hot i'm not gonna lie uh, I mean, I've had this one on all day, and it, it's just it's just warm, I'll say, but they do say if you leave the screen on or something, it won't be too good. So we could go ahead, set our pin. Uh, let me make this super secret, guys. Oh, shoot. Can't leak myself. No! <laughs> That's for such rage bait. Mm -hmm. Four six six. Okay, that's totally my pin. And then we're gonna set our root password because we are able to root into this guy uh, with the virtual pager, which we're gonna be taking a look at soon. So I cannot wait for all the fun stuff to come out for this guy. And I mean, really, the possibilities are gonna be endless when it does come out. So we could save our password and I swear it last time. Okay, and then we could set our time zone. I'm UTC seven, negative seven. I accept. I'm not reading all that. So we could continue the dashboard or go through the tutorial. Uh, I already went through the tutorial, but I'll do it for you guys. So double click this button to give you the like quick menu options, sleep, lock screen, lock buttons, nerd stats, and shut down. Okay. Then we have the A button to select this to move around. This is the D-pad. We have our status bars at the top. I don't know how well this is looking on the screen. And it has three components, Pine AP, Recon, Payloads. Pine AP is the engine that allows you to perform Wi-Fi attacks. Recon displays wireless airspace. And payloads are scripts written in Bash for the full power. Now, alert payloads automatically trigger when events occur. So if somebody starts deauthing, a payload could automatically occur for you. And user payloads can run anytime. And you guys could go through all that. Settings like the home page, management access points. You could connect to your pager from the internet. Client mode. Here's a full list. I see a spelling error. I don't know if you guys see that. It's a very big one. It says GIST instead of LIST. I'll definitely have to report that in the surface areas. Now, this is this guy's probably going to reboot. 
So let's switch over to this pager. Now this is just a very, very little quick. We have our alerts, payloads, recon, pine AP, and our settings. Woof! That was beautiful. Welcome to 1.0.3. Okay, guys, I mean, these are sick. Let me know what you like more, black or yellow. And, I mean, we're going live tomorrow at 1 p.m. MST to take a closer look at these. And, I mean, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I think the next videos are all just going to be on the pager because there's so much going on in here. I mean, it I literally just is the absolute coolest thing. The yeah, Authing Wi-Fi networks to, like, that actually works. Okay. It's the coolest thing in the world. I love this guy. And I will show you why in another video. But that is it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Like I said, tune in tomorrow, 1.30. Or, sorry, 1 MST. That's Mountain Center time, if you didn't know. And I will see you guys next time. Check out the Hack 5 paper. Ah, I cannot speak. Adios. Bye.